Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. Today we're doing the French board with the elastic that we keep talking about. And, and we go like, oh, this is not going to be hard at all. First of all, everybody relax. All right. Supplies. You need an Amazon envelope. Every household has at least one Amazon envelope. If you don't have one, I can figure out something when we get to it and we can manage as well. Any padded envelope for that matter will do. It doesn't have to be the Amazon one. The Amazon one is <laughs> free because it's already there and instead of putting it in the wastebasket, you take it, right? So you need this. I said some craft paper. I'm using whole food bag that I crumpled and supple. You can do that. The reason I use that is because if you recycle this bag, it's good karma. So we need good karma. I picked this one. Any craft paper, not really the crackly kind, more like the soft kind. You know the, you know what I'm talking about the the a bit mushy kind. Anyway, that one. So we got this, that. You're gonna need a ruler, just in case we measure something. Scissors, that's a given. Hole punching. Eyelet, glue, elastic, twine. And today, because I'm working on the other project, I'm gonna do the one without the eyelet because everybody by now figure out the whole eyelet situation. I'm gonna do it with the little tabs. So I got my little tabs ready here. All right, ready or not, here we go. So, you're gonna take your board. You gotta take, oh, no. see, already everything is falling. See, I make neat little pile, but you know, they have a tendency to just like spread around. Okay. You gotta need your craft paper. Now, if you don't wanna do, okay, I'm gonna say this. If you want to put napkin on this, to block the view of the manila color, go for it. If you want to glue craft paper on it, go for it. If you want whatever, if you want to do, if you want to put fabric on it, go for it. This is not what I'm doing. I'm doing it with craft. Because see, the thing is, there's so many possibilities. I'm gonna do the basic, basic, and then if you want to go wild, right, then you're just gonna go wild right i am not about to stop you okay we're gonna cut i wish i could cut two board can i cut two board watch i can't huh. can i cut two board really okay i can almost cut two board all right and we're gonna do one side and the other side is gonna be the same thing i'm gonna take another craft we are not gonna worry about that. All right, so we're gonna kind of eyeball the whole thing here. We're gonna take a piece of craft with some room around. All right. So, this. I hope everybody who needed their little download got their little download. Life is great. We're having so much fun. We're hoping anyway. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of line up this thing here. How do I go about it? I go like this about it. Yes. Okay. You take your board. You roll up your sleeve. You take the glue. You take your Amazon envelope. You cut it to about half inch less than your board and some. Okay? I mean, if possible, straight. Like so. Right, right. 
You're gonna put some glue here, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Do, 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 do. I'm gluing away. Now your board is the right dimension. The rest, you know, we just gotta clip, adjust, and everything. But it's got to be your your page right there. All right, about a half inch on all sides, and you press it down. So you don't want it. You really want to have a half inch, okay? Because you want your craft to have enough surface to glue. If that makes sense. So, you know, you still have time to make it right. Okay? All right. Now, put the glue, the glue on everything else right here. Don't be shy. Glue away. See, so the day you run out, okay, so now the other way you can do it if you do not have a padded envelope. I mean, you have them at the dollar store, they're everywhere. But you can also glue three sides or two sides of your craft paper onto the page and then st stuff it with, I don't know, you know, bits and pieces of paper towel or cotton balls or I mean if you do quilting quilting padding whatever you know it's not all right you take the craft paper you put the vegetable section back down and then you put it on top of it and then you press on the ends And you have a padded board. So you take another piece of craft paper, another piece of your bag. That should do it. You crumple, crumple, crumple. It's really good for stress. So you do that multiple times until it's soft. I mean, the leather technique you put. Uh, you know water and I use the uh, you know the silky air product but I mean you don't have to do that you can do fake leather if you want to go you know I mean you could distress it with an ink pad the only thing is you're gonna put papers in there so you know you don't want all your papers to get ink on just saying so if you're gonna do that then you're gonna have to put a coat of you know Mod Podge or something like that I'm doing basic as I say you can make it way better if you want to see that's already way better see to make it nice and soft all right so same thing you measure about a half inch all around yeah, a bit more. Yes, we need a little bit out here. A little bit more. Straight. Treasure straight. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're about to good. All right. So again. You make that maybe a little bit less cumbersome. Because it's so nice to craft like, yeah, we do this, we do that. You know, we're not measuring anything. We're just going with the flow. And sometimes it's a flow of disaster, but yeah. All right. I think we should cut this one first. Okay, we're gonna glue this. I already got glue because I was not ready to. Anyway, you know, when those things happen. Put the glue and then this and that and then, yeah, too late. So, 
glue, glue, glue. Flip. Glue like so. All right. To help with the oops, we're having a skipping glue here. To help with the visual, we're gonna keep cut. You cut it exactly to the end of the board. No more, no less. Because when you're gonna put the other um, piece of craft, you get to be able to see where the heck you're gonna cut, right? Yes. Yes, you do need to see where you're gonna cut. I mean, it is preferable. All right. Done. Of course, we're keeping all that, right? I mean, you know that story. We're not keeping the manila nonsense here. Done. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. And now, putting it's the same that we did before. You, you need at least a half inch because you want your paper. I mean your craft paper to glue down, right? Because if it's too, yeah, this, this should be okay. We're gonna declare everything's fine. All right, why did I put it this way? That's silly. There you go. I mean, between the, you know, your page and the craft, the craft is really porous. Okay, so don't be afraid to put glue because it's gonna suck it in, like just cross the desert or something. Did <laughs> you see that? I kept my eyes on the sun, like, ooh, wait a second. We are not having a disaster. No, not today. All right, I think there's enough glue here. Okay. Put this guy, put the vegetable inside. Good karma. And you're flattening it up. I got scared for a second. I thought, oh my gosh, I put the vegetable up. No, I did not. Whew. Gee. Oh, I got palpitation, the whole thing. I mean, I can do things stupid like that all day, every day, but on camera, really? Okay, and now we're gonna cut following the board again. It's happening, we're doing the French elastic board. I bet you thought it would have been so much worse than that. It's like, why didn't I do that before? Exactly. You know how many times that happened to me? It's like, oh no, I could have done it just like that. It was so easy. Well, yeah. Uh, keeping this. Bam, bam, bam. You have your padded board. I mean, that was not hard. No, it was not. Okay. You liking it? I'm liking it. All right, so we can totally edge the edge, edge the edge right now. And I know I can take my time because I have this wonderful daughter of mine who does all the editing and the making it better and all of that. You know, that's the one who put little jumping ring into, <laughs> into videos and all kind of cool stuff, right? She does all of that, of course I don't. Are you kidding me? I barely fight my way into Instagram and everything else. I mean, I craft, I cannot do everything else, right? And even that is so recent that, you know. Anyhow, so, just to say, I can take all my time doing that because she's gonna speed it up and then it's gonna look like I did all of that in no time at all. All right, and I use, if you're using this, I'm using the small, which to this day, I don't know what the equivalent of that is. 
See? Now, you're going to have to make sure, right, all your corners are glued good. But pretty much that's all you get to worry about. So the good thing with the glue, that's why you put a lot of glue too, is it's really going to reinforce your sides, right? And that's a good thing. All right, so edging. All right, don't forget. There's two sides of it, right? Don't you think it looks cool? It does look cool, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, I love it. When I was say, oh, I was just lost for words. Like, oh, this is so simple. I mean, the first time around, I couldn't have done it any more simple. I had a craft padded envelope. So, <laughs> bam, you're done right there. But I, I looked them up. I mean, they are expensive. This is, I don't know, if you don't want Manila color, you just want craft color, well, be ready. Craft color is 10 bucks more than Manila. And you know, I figure, what's the sense? Are you gonna order 20 of them? You're never gonna use them. Anyway, you get your padded board. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we're getting rid of this. Now, I'm gonna work with this spine today because I'm doing this project, but it's the same thing. I know you have a spine with three ridges. I think I actually know where it is. Okay, so on the first one, you have the pockets page. Second one, you have the Avery envelope. Avery is going to have to give me something for every time I say Avery because this is ridiculous. This one is the one for the padded French board, which means when you're done with this, you're going to line up and mark where your holes should be punched yes yes very important this side you do about you know whatever you can add up more holes if you want to you, you can put holes on the top and the bottom if you want you can do whatever you want but you need at least uh, at least four I will say okay matching the spine all right so you can actually hook it to it right all right, I'm doing this because I figure people who don't do the eyelet and all of that, and they're just like, you know what, she gave up on us. And okay, so I didn't. So here we go. You mark your holes. And we're gonna mark them again afterward, but at least that gives us an idea. All right, you have marked your holes. You take the glue again. I already cut those little thing and. See, this one was kind of a light background. I put darker tab. This one is a dark background. I put light tabs because I like the contrast. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so there we go. Glue, glue, glue. And you put it in there where your hole, where you draw your hole. And this thing. Take a, I found that it comes really handy. Yeah, put a clip. Make your life easy. Okay, do another one. I mean, maybe you're gonna think, oh, it's tedious, and you know what? Do you wanna talk about tedious? Try to put eyelets. Yeah, that's what I call tedious. I got a hole here. I'm gonna put a little clippy. Where's the other one right here? All right, so if you do eyelet, you check your, um, you know, where your eyelet are supposed to be. Then you punch your holes, which I'm going to get to that as soon as this is a little bit dry. And then you put your eyelets, and then we're going to shred away. Okay. Now us, the people without eyelet today, we're just going to wait for it to dry before we're going to punch the hole. And then we're all gonna be on the same page. I wanted to do at least one part of the project with the no eyelet option. Just because if you're not doing it with the eyelet, I think it's pretty cool to see what it should be. Or if you're not doing it yet, but you're gonna do it later, you know, see what it looks like without eyelet. And maybe you like it and you don't wanna bother with the eyelet. What do we know? You know, you are allowed to change your mind. Yes. All right. 
So now I'm gonna eyeball the other side because you know it doesn't really matter. So about here, about here, about here, about here, about there. Then I'm gonna clip it, then I'm gonna let it dry. And then we're doing I'm gonna do string on this one, and then when I'm all done with the string, I'm gonna take it off because oh, you know, doing and undoing, right? And then I'm gonna do it with the elastic, so you know how to put the elastic, and believe it or not, that boy is gonna be made in one shot, one video. This is life at its best. We let it dry, I'm having a coffee, you're having a coffee, and we're getting back together for the rest of the story. All right, it's all dry. And, okay, so right now we should be about at the same, okay, so obviously this is not this side, it's better be that side, nope, this is it, this is it, all right, so yes, don't forget, you know, if it doesn't come one way, sometimes it's because it got flip around, just saying, there's no need to panic, okay, ever. I mean, let's put it this way. When I panic, I turn the video off. I panic and then I put it back on. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm still doing whoever is not doing the eyelid. Yes. Yes. Now. Okay. I'm eyeballing the whole thing because I got little things. So I know about where I'm going, right? I mean, it's got to be somewhere on that um, little tab. So, uh-oh. As we know, it's not good to bang. It doesn't have to be extremely, extremely precise because let's not forget, you're gonna put the, uh, what is it called? The jump ring, and that's gonna give you so much wiggle room that you're gonna realize that it doesn't, oh, that thing, for goodness sake. <sighs> anyway, all right, so everybody's punching holes. Maybe, or looking at me punching holes. Done with the hole punching. I don't get to punch holes on the other side. The other side. On the cool those little boards, right? See, it was not hard. Oh, that was such a pleasant surprise because I was trying to figure out how am I, because, I mean, after that envelope, I was like, oh, I'm okay. Okay, giveaway. Ha, let's talk about cool stuff. Giveaway this week. Well, we're having a French board where we're supposed to do what? You know, put stuff on it, like letters, notes, and all kind of stuff like that. So I don't have them handy right now, but I'm gonna gather some old letters, some old notes I have. In particular, I got this that my daughters found for me because see, they are so cool, and when they go anywhere, they always look for stuff for me. And that spot on the, I think it was called autograph book. You know, usually when people, I guess when people parted way after high school or things like that, everybody had a little pad and everybody will write something about them. Anyway, that's from 1936. And I read a few of those, they're all handwritten. And I wish my name would be Wilmer because it looked like this lady was a really really nice lady look at that i have really cool so i'm gonna do a little selection of those and they all have different handwriting so that's pretty cool in itself and i'm gonna put some um, old letters and then this way you can put them under your little elastic or whatever you do with that okay we got, we good with that. Actually, what we should do, maybe, I mean, I'm just saying it's a maybe. We should take a, yeah. So this way I don't have to do that all over again. I'm gonna take a little washi tape, right? And I'm gonna put it here. So this way I know it's top for the hinge. You know, because when we're gonna start putting things, at least, you know, that's one less thing we got to worry about. Okay, now we got to string, elastic, and all of that. So. If we string, let's do a string run. There's the very fine baking twine, which maybe is a little bit too fine for this. So I got a bigger baking twine. I mean, Thanksgiving is coming. You guys are gonna put some turkey in the oven, right? You're gonna need those. So let's figure out about where we are gonna need it. Like so, right? And then two rolls more because you know what as usual just like money it's better to have too much than not enough ha right right 
Okay, so how are we gonna do this? I think I gotta start with... Let's start with the beginning, right? So I go from here to there to there. Let's do this and see where that get us. Okay, here to here. See, the cool thing is we're gonna do both sides at the same time. And then... So you don't wanna go... All right, hold on a second. You don't wanna go over, all right? So you go to the next hole. Just make sure of that because otherwise you get to undo everything. And you go here. And again, you don't want to go over like this. So you go to the... Well, you guys know how to sew. Talking about sewing, anybody with a sewing machine, you realize that you can sew all around, right? Okay, I don't have to tell you that. I know people with a sewing machine, they sew everything. So I'm pretty sure that already crossed your mind. Okay, here. Yeah, we are. Now, the thing is, then it gets a surprise how it is on the other side, but you know what? It's just gonna put letters, so. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go, if I go here, right? I go here. And then I'm gonna go here. Of course, the thing, see, is like every time you do something and you get to go through everything and this is still not enough. Uh, where's, what is this thing here? Yeah. All right, this is confusing already. Okay, here. Nope, see, I'm doing exactly what I said don't do. So you better remember that because when you're all done it's just so annoying you get to take everything out okay pour here pour here pour here pour here pour here and here and then we're gonna stretch it once it's kind of all out there so you'll be like the spine for your book all right but in the meantime, I need way more here. No, it's not the way I want that thing to go. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let's just do it once for all. Uh, okay. What is that? I want more here. So where does that come from? comes from here, here, there, here. See, you just get to try your luck. Pull on this one, that one, the other one. And this one. And this one went there, right? That's the one where I wanted plenty. Okay, all right, so tidy it up a little bit. Okay, this goes here to here, which goes here. Okay, get to put something. Do not move. Wait, where was I? Here, 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 here. Right now, if we put something in here, it should stay. And as usual, I don't have anything to do. I have, yes, I have some stuff. Okay, this is gonna be tight, right? See what I mean? It works with a string too. So if you don't have elastic, not to worry. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now don't weave too much weave because what's gonna happen is it's never gonna be able to take your stuff out, right? So you just, you know, do some but the minimum. Now where we got on the other side, just that. Maybe I should have gone on the other side instead of doing that. Okay, you know what? You never know until you try. So... This is what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna take this thing, which is pretty heavy, right? I'm gonna twirl it around, okay? So then I can pull, because here we go. Otherwise it gets stupid. Uh, here. Now I'm gonna get tangled up in this. All right, so if it gets like really raggedy, you know, trim it. Where am I? Here. I'm going there. And I'm gonna come back here. I 
I'm, I'm already trying to figure out how I'm gonna... Oops. Oh, I am so sorry. See, it's gonna work perfect. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to weave like 20 of them. I don't know if I like to have this one there, but that's pretty much the way he ended up being. Okay, now we got to tie those things somehow. Oh, let's come with a plan here. I'm gonna tie this one on here, right? Why not? Mm -hmm. All right, so make sure it's nice and tight. And then this one we're going to put here and go under. You come here, you and in here, in here. Can you still see something? All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, you know what, give something, maybe you wanna hang something to there. Little you know, charms or who knows, a tag or, where are we? Bam, top left, see? Now we know exactly, all right. So, here you go. This goes in here, like so. Beautiful woman everywhere. This one's gonna go here, like here. I got this guy. Hold on, let me put a thick. Like, oh, I, look, I got little squirrels. I'm gonna put on there. I need some, do I have something smaller? Yeah, I'm gonna put a bunny. Okay, see what I mean? It doesn't go anywhere. Squirrel, maybe this one should be tied. If it get to be tighter, then you just undo what you just did and pull on it. I mean, really, it says it's as hard as that. But look, it doesn't go anywhere. You got your board. This is it. This is done. This is finished with, right? Right. Do you want, do you need me to do it with the elastic or do you think you can do it with the elastic? I don't care. You want to do it with the elastic? Let's do it with the elastic. Okay, let's take all of that out. Because you said, oh, I'm gonna do it with the elastic, Patricia. I don't care what you say. Okay, I'm gonna be able to reuse that for tags and stuff. So that's just fine. All right, unweaving the whole thing. So the elastic, actually, it's not really trickier. It's just that you have to pull it way more than the string because Contrary to the string, when you pull the string, you pull the string. When you pull the elastic, you don't pull an elastic. Yes, you do, but it's an elastic. So what happens, you kind of keep on stretching and stretching. It will stretch to no end. So, top left. Top left. This is my hinge side. Elastic. Here. We are going to proceed. We're going to go here. Gonna go here. Gonna go here. Gonna go here. All right. I need a little bit more. All right, we go here. Here. It's worse than, you know, back, back then, the people who had those, uh, you know, those, those, the lady who had those long, 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 tall boots with all those little laces. Seriously? 
kind of life was that? Right? Anyway, let me just get that thought here. Alright, where am I? Here. I'm doing this here. I'm here. That's what you do, you know, you just pretend those <laughs> pretend those are shoes. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta lose our mind doing that. I wanna pull this way. I don't wanna pull it. Okay, this the feed is here. And then you follow with your hand where it goes after that. It goes oops. It goes here, so I got more here. Then it goes there, then it goes here. And it goes here. Now I should have. Hey! Bam! I got more here. Then I got here. Whew. Now where are we here? Cool, cool, cool. And then we're gonna tie here. Okay. So we're gonna do a pretend tie, okay? Not gonna tie too tight, but we're gonna have to do some pulling, right? Okay, because this is, right? This is way too loose. Okay. Top left. So this is this is here. Okay, from here. Okay, follow it where it's going and pull nicely. You just tightening it up, right? So wherever that thing takes you, and just follow along. And then it's here. Now you're back at the top with both of them. I think we're good. All right, so let's undo this. All right, time to make decision here. We're cutting it. We are home free. Maybe. How cool is this? So cool. And this, I don't know, maybe you wanna, you know, put some, that's a little bit long, but you know, if you wanna put something on there. All right, so, bam, now, squirrels, squirrels coming up. Come on, you squirrels, look at that. Ostrich, baseball player. On this side, what do we got? Bunny. See, I'm telling you, this is a really cool FMR storage too, because you can put a lot of stuff in those. And you got all those pockets everywhere. And we're gonna do even so many more pockets later on, so. Okay, you get it. It won't move, it won't go. This is your board. Ha! Like it? I like it, I love it. So, giveaway. Nice note to Wilma. I'm gonna put a few of those. They're really cool. I'm gonna pick the, you know, the cool handwriting. Like that one there was there with the, uh, C with the, I don't know what that mean. I have no, I mean, I, it's so hard for me to read those things. But anyway, I'm gonna put a few of those and I'm gonna put, um, uh, you know, old letters, things that you can actually smack in, uh, I'm sorry, insert in, right? But how cool is that? You get yourself a board. And see, you can take them just like that. Ha! Huh. Beats pockets. So I don't have nothing against pocket, but shoot beats pockets every day of the week. Right? Right. So, we did it in one video. We got the board done. Of course, you guys with the eyelets. You had all your fun putting eyelets everywhere. I wanted to show if you don't put eyelet, it looks as cool as if you would have. I show you that the board looks 
cool with the baking twine so everybody's cool everybody should be happy you can obviously also do no eyelet and elastic you can do eyelet with the string i mean it's whatever you want it to be okay happy making happy crafting everything is in the description box below for the giveaway and uh see you next time we're doing uh i don't even know oh we're gonna start the folding pages Ooh, this is gonna be so cool all right see you next time bye